Minasan, or Karina Sai, today one of the chillest people around, probably one of the funnest people to be around as well. Nanaka Sua, born November 2nd, 1994, from Kawago, Saitama, currently affiliated with Stay Luck Agency. Sua was inspired to become a voice actress after watching the anime Hidamari Sketch. She started attending training school to become a voice actress in her second year of junior high school. As there were no training schools in Saitama, she had to travel all the way to Yoyogi, Tokyo every Saturday for her class. Before getting her first role, she had actually sang some songs in groups such as Supreme Daydream and Uru Meitsu Jr. She also got lots of experience appearing on and hosting radio shows. She debuted as a voice actress in 2013 with a minor role of Yaya in World War Blue, a show actually based off of the OG console wars, Nintendo vs Sega. In April of 2015, she officially joined the talent office Amuleto. In that same year, she voiced the small role of Otenpa in the movie Typhoon Noruda. And, the big one, she joined the Love Live franchise as Khan and Matsura and became a member of Aqua and their subunit Azalea. The character is her first role as a main character, and she is one of the few girls that actually got the role she auditioned for, as most of the other girls read for characters other than the ones that they were cast as. Some songs I'd recommend to show her off would be Aqua's Happy Party Train and Mijuku Dreamer, also Azalea's Lonely Tuning. 2017, Sua's agency prohibited the reproduction of her photos from other various official sources. This was most likely to prevent any further imposter incidents, which she had mentioned a few days prior. The next few years, she was mostly focused on her Aqua activities and live streams on Nico Nico. Speaking of Aqua, her alongside the rest of the girls won the singing award at the 11th Seiyu Awards. 2018 was her first photo book, 7CT Nanakarat. 2019, she did have the role of Wuyu Nangan in the Chinese anime Journal of the Mysterious Creatures. But in 2020, she branched out again, voicing a character named Yui in the anime Bofuri. Then she released a full album titled So Sweet Dulce, and a few months later, a mini album titled Color Me Purple. Her second photo book was released, Sua Once Upon a Time. She was part of the group 10UC with Moe Toyota and many other seiyu I'm sure you are familiar with, but due to COVID, they had to disband. Or so we thought. We'll get back to that very soon. First, in 2021, she sang the opening theme for Battle Athletes Restart, the song Cobalt no Kodo. Her second mini-album, Winter Cocktail, came out, and she later announced she was ending her contract with Amuleto. In 2022, the Idol Blue Show project was restarted, even having their own anime. And Sua voiced her character Risa Umino with the group 10UC. And, well, I'm glad I waited to make a remake video about her, because within the last few weeks, a lot of stuff has been announced for her. She has a photo book coming out titled Sua Wonderland. Honestly, a really good name. Very recently, she released a short music video for her new song, Fine Days, which will be the ending theme for the show Management of Novice Alchemist. That will begin airing in just a few days, and she will voice one of the main characters, Kate Starvin. The final thing that has also been very recently revealed, Sua will be part of the Otena Project with Kyan and Miku Ito, which seems to be a stage play of sorts, and they will perform from October 26th up until the 30th. Aside from all these roles, she has had some more very minor one-episode voices in the show's Gabriel Dropout, Last Period, and Super Hentai Heroes. Yeah, that last one was a, a fun show. She's had two video game roles aside from Love Live, those being in Epic 7, a South Korean PC game, and in Relayer, a newer PlayStation game. She, alongside the other Aqua members, have made appearances at Animax Music Festivals and Animelo Summer Music Festival many times throughout 2017 to 2019, also performing with them at overseas events like Anime Expo. She herself has had two full lives and a few fan meet performances. I mentioned the live-action music video for her new song, Fine Days, but she has her own six total music videos for her songs. You can find most of them along with her full live digests on her YouTube channel. Fun facts time, Nanaka is 158 centimeters or 5 foot 2. Her fan club is Seven Colors World. She has herself a music YouTube channel, a Nico Nico program called Sua Nanaka's Sua Section 7. It also has its own Twitter page, and Sua herself has a personal Twitter, but is way more active on her staff Twitter. Well, I doubt it's actually her, but that's where you'll find the content that you are looking for. And she also has herself an Instagram, though she doesn't post all that often. She is, or was, the co-host of Fuasata with fellow Seiyu Mikako Izawa since 2015. Not entirely sure if it's still ongoing though, since 2017 was like 7 years ago. Her talents include dance, piano, calligraphy, putting on yukatas, and hakamas. She is also very good at English, you can find videos of her here on YouTube showing off her skills. She describes herself as a person who moves at her own pace, and her hobbies include watching movies and anime, playing games, and taking walks. She really loves sleeping as well, describing it as fun and sometimes sleeping in late into the afternoon on her days off. She tends to hug the other Aqua members, mostly Aina or Shuka, reflecting her call and response, as well as her character Kanan. She is often seen creating close physical contact with the other members of Aqua, including holding hands. Oh my, how lewd. 
She has also been known to touch Anchan's butt as they were going to sit down during a live stream, and she was not afraid to admit it. She is often compared to an otter with the faces she makes or the sleepy otter because of how chill and low power she is. When it comes to Aqua, Sua is probably the chillest one who is always just going with the flow and down for whatever. Also, she like never gets embarrassed. I don't think I've ever seen her flustered even once. Bit of a personal thing here, but she has my favorite style. Like the way she dresses. I honestly love it and it suits her perfectly. She's also like the very definition of the word cute. You know what I mean? Like the cheeks she has and the round face, it's like perfect. Her parents creating her were really good with the character design. Alright, moving on. She is a fan of the K-pop group Neezy Yu. She's probably the best school idol festival player in Aqua, even though she claims it is her first rhythm game. Suwawa has had glasses ever since elementary school, but only wears them at home. She normally wears contacts when she goes out. Her favorite food is ice cream, which she loves even more than actual food. Also, really liking milk cake. But she dislikes rice. That's like the most un-Japanese thing I've ever heard in my life. Her favorite colors are pink and purple, which I'm sure played a role in naming her second album. Her favorite times of the year are the autumn season and Christmas. She doesn't like watching or playing sports, claiming to be an indoor person. She prefers cats over dogs. Cats are actually the animal she would most compare herself to. Probably because of the lounging around all the time with random spurts of high energy. But even though this is the case, she says her favorite animal is a rabbit. She admires the Seiyu Yuko Goto, claiming her to be Sua's favorite actor and musician. At one point, she even had a handwritten letter from Yoko to her as her wallpaper. She wants to visit Europe, but more specifically France. She said if there's one thing she would fix about herself, it's her bad sleeping habits of staying up too late. Hashtag relatable. To relieve stress, she takes a bath. Also, hashtag relatable. Prior to her dream of becoming a Seiyu, she wanted to be a childcare worker or a nursery school teacher. I think she's like the third or fourth Aqua Girl to have wanted to become a teacher. She was nicknamed Suawa by her Seiyu Senpai Rika Tachibana while they were in training school together. And finally, when she was asked what's good about being a girl, she said that girls can touch each other. Yeah, really showing your true colors there, Nanaka. And uh, yeah, with that we've reached the ending yet again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and learned something new. Please join me in the next one about Aqua's Resident Power Ranger. I hope to see you there.